right, 621. We're joined this morning by Chefs Jamie Lynch and Mark Jacksina from Nan and Byron's. These are also the uh, restaurateurs behind <laughs> Five Church Uptown. Yep. Um, so tell us a little bit quickly about Nan and Byron's. Uh, how's it different from Five Church? Nan and Byron's is going to be a more family-friendly, casual-type okay. neighborhood joint. Um, focused on uh, classic American food. And what's more classic than meatloaf that meatloaf. you guys are making for yep. us today? Right, so here's what we got. So Nan and Byron's meatloaf, we've got, um, it's uh, one pound of ground pork, two pounds ground beef, okay. three eggs separated. Okay. So we add all that to, the, to our bowl here. Uh, the egg whites, we've whipped to soft peak. Okay. Okay, which is over here. Um, and then we go ahead and mix up all of our goodies. So we've got some uh, panada, which is Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs soaked in milk. What? Okay, yeah, I've never heard of this. Fancy breadcrumbs. Wow, okay. um, cool. So we've, we've got our panada right here. Well, that looks solid. Mm. So now, can we find that in the grocery store? Is that something you can yep. kind of assemble at home? That's something you assemble at home. Okay. Um, so you, you take your breadcrumbs, you basically toss them in a bowl with some milk, um, the Parmesan cheese, you let it kind of soak up. Uh-huh. Wring out all the extra milk. Oh. That's your panada. What a neat idea. And so, yeah. that makes it nice yeah. and moist. Yep, it keeps everything nice and moist, keeps the moisture level good. Um, we've got our hoisin sauce, which okay. is a little different than a traditional meatloaf where you'd use ketchup mm -hmm. right. or something like that, like or a chili Asian sauce. Asian barbecue sauce, kind of. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we use a little bit of hoisin. Um, then we've got our chopped herbs. We have some uh, some thyme. Okay. Right in there. Some rosemary. Fresh or dry? Fresh Always or fresh for us. Fresh. Okay. <laughs> um, and some parsley. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Throw all that good stuff in there. Um, our salt and our pepper. Always. Mm-hmm. Add some flavor. Yep. And then, um, then the, the important part. thing, yeah, the, the best part. <laughs> then you when get you're, in there and get your hands dirty. Yeah, you get in here and you start kind of mixing the stuff together. Now, the trick to the meatloaf is not to over mix your meat. There is kind of a fine line between not mixed enough versus just kind of mush. Right, exactly. you just kind of want to fold it together. Okay. You know, you don't want to go in there and just kind of like pulverize the meat. You just kind you of don't need to take your aggression out on the meat. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> While you're finishing that up, tell me where the name Nan and Byron's comes from. Okay, Nan and Byron's came from the American Gothic painting yes. um, by Grant Woods. Um, the farmers, actually, that were depicted in that painting is Nan and Byron. Oh, okay. You know which one he's talking about where the guys got the Pitchfork. thing and the, yeah. the ladies exactly. stand there, they look all solemn. Right. <laughs> so so we take this egg whites in okay. there. What do the egg whites, this. the whipped egg whites do? So the idea for the um, whipped egg whites is to add a little bit of air to okay. get you a little bit of a lighter meatloaf instead of that, yeah, that dense piece of uh, you mm -hmm. know meat that comes out of the oven is yeah. we're trying to avoid that. We've right? all had somebody's a little not so great meatloaf from time to right. time. You know who stop. I'm talking about, and uh, okay. yes, that kind of dense block. Exactly the so once you have this all incorporated, um, the difference we don't just bake this in the oven. Okay, okay. we're taking a traditional technique where we uh, we use a terrine. Okay, all right, which is this right here. Yeah, we take our meat. Uh -huh. And we line it inside this. Uh, this Why does that make a difference? Because um, I'll, I'll show you in just a second. Okay. Gonna, I bet it has something to do with this. It has something to do with our little water bath over there. So we take our meat, kind of load it in here. Uh -huh. Do we want to pack that in there pretty tight? Yeah, you want to pack it in pretty good. It's um, not like a cake; it's going to rise and bubble up. Over right? The no, no, it won't. It won't bubble over. You will release some juices and stuff like that. But you take this, kind of bang it on the Whoa. table a little bit. Okay, that'll get any of the extra... Making it rain. <laughs> yeah, make it rain a little bit. Um, it'll get all the extra air pockets out. Okay. Into our water bath. Uh -huh. Now, how, how high up does the water bath need to go in relation to the... Uh, about halfway about up. About halfway. About halfway okay. up. Okay, then you take that, put it in your oven at 350. Okay. Make it to an internal temperature of the meat. Of, so you need uh, a little meat thermometer. Yep, a little okay. meat thermometer. Goes through this little hole right there. And once it reads uh, 145 to 150... You're good to go. Good to Pull go. it out. Okay. Let it rest for 20 minutes at least. Why Why do we have to let it rest? Because we get impatient. We want right. to eat right away. I, I hear you. I, so I like steaks it. where all the juices just... Yeah, exactly. Okay. The juices run right out. You get yeah. a dry meatloaf. Okay. Don't all want right. that. Magic of TV. <laughs> yep. and so, 45 and, minutes later. And here's our finished meatloaf right here. <laughs> Um, which Mark will slice up for us. Nice, Ooh. thick piece of meatloaf. Love so this, it. This yes, is right on the menu at Nan and Byron's. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So this is what we got here. And then we've got our sriracha ketchup. Oh, Ooh. yum. Okay. Had me um, at sriracha. <laughs> so this is about one-third um, sriracha. Okay. And two-thirds ketchup. Okay, good. Which will drizzle right on there. 
and then our red wine demi glaze. I mean, oh. come on, that looks so pretty. All right, so when is Nan and Byron's opening? We're looking at um, uh, the very beginning of October, so just a couple oh, wow. weeks. Oh wow! Okay, because yep. they're almost there. We're almost there. So if you all know how hard it is to get into Five Church, <laughs> know that it's <laughs> probably not going to be yeah. that easy to get in Nan and Byron's at first. But you should definitely check it out because if you've been to Five Church, you know how amazing these guys are, and I can only Thanks. expect it's going to be even better. Thanks, guys, for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to see you. Guys. Good to Thank see you. you. We always appreciate seeing you. It's six twenty-six. <laughs> we'll be right back after this.